There's another one. A little bit better fish. Just a chill, dude. A little bit better. Got him all hooked up. Did he eat that white one? 18 to 20 foot of water. Ate the white contact. Them contacts? Okay. Okay. Let's 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 go back in, shall we? Go. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and, and start recording now uh, just to do like a little test and see what's going on here. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this little tackle warehouse Tuesday a little different. So I got me some podcasting gear, right? Like I done went and spent some monies on some podcasting gear. And I figured, you know, this would be a good little intro to learning how to podcast. Cause my deal is like I'm not gonna sit here and podcast like a normal podcaster like i'm gonna be remote like everywhere i go i'm gonna take all my podcast gear with me with my camera gear and whatever and i'm just if, if i feel like i need to podcast and i'm on podcast right or whatever you call it like it's it, it it's like a hybrid podcast like i'm gonna show you some baits i'm gonna show you some footage of what i got today with with some kitex swim baits and and the thing is you know kitex are or, in, or just any salt, well, no, I shouldn't say that because in my last video, sorry about that, I'm still getting used to this whole mic in my, in my face. In my last video, I had, you know, some other swim baits on there. You know, like I said, they were, I'd left them on there for a year hanging in my garage on my A-Rig. But as soon as I switched to Kitex, I got a bite the first cast after I switched. I got a bite. So it's kind of like, you know, the freshness, I guess the staleness of the old um, soft plastic, I guess they lose their mojo, maybe, or maybe it's the action. I don't know. Like, I don't want to dog on the other baits I had tied on just because I can't give them a fair shot because they were stale. They were stale baits. They had that stale smell to them, you know? So, but I'm, I'm going to talk about Kitex just because I think that they are so versatile in how you can fish them. You know, I want to say it's almost like the, it's like the most versatile soft plastic. You can argue with me about it, but you can take a Kitek and catch fish all year round. Understand? So you can put them on a jig head, swim them over brush in the winter and in the summer or whenever fish are on brush, you can put you could put them on a drop shot. Like you can drop shot these Kitex, especially the 2.8s. And I always get my numbers mixed up. It's like 2.8, 3.3, 3.8. Like I don't even know all the numbers. There's so many numbers. But the ones I'm talking about is the easy shiners. Like these are like the, the ones that are not ribbed. They're not the fats, all right? We, we all know about the fats. They go all the way down to like two inches all right two inches up to i think i've got a nine it's either a, a it's either an eight or a nine inch so we're talking about like two inches i think two inches is like that two inches up to like a nine inch and you can catch fish and, and especially like in the winter time when you need to slow roll them a lot of other soft plastic swim baits you can't slow roll them and they still have that action. Can't do it. I've tried, I've seen them. I do enough underwater footage to where it's like when you slow them down, that tail don't even, it don't even throb. If that's it, you know, it's just kind of like nothing. The Kitex, they still got that. Slow it down, then you speed it up. You can fish them fast or slow. Check out this. This is, I'm gonna go in order. So I've got some three inch, I got some four inch, I got five inch and then I've got like eight or nine. I'll figure it out. And then I've got some on a rig. And if you didn't see my video that I dropped mm, last week, you need to check that out. Cause that's how I caught them. Cause that video was kind of like, okay, I suck at throwing an a rig. I know I suck throwing an a rig. I'm going to show you how much I suck at throwing an a rig. And then I go out and I catch fish. I caught more fish that day on an a rig than I've caught the whole time I've been throwing an a rig. 
I mean, for some reason, I could never catch fish on an A rig. You know, even like the people that never catch fish was catching fish. I'm like, what the, hold up now. Hold up a second. Like, who is that? All right. So check out this. This is the, this is a three inch. Check out this footage. It's, it's, it's crazy. I, I mean, it's, I love it. Like, like what the fish, they eat bait that small. Yeah, they do. Like, and you'll catch some good fish. And it's all about like matching a hatch. You always hear it, matching a hatch. Well, in different lakes to where, you know, you you got um, you got like thread fins, you got bluebacks, you got gizzards, and gizzards are always big. Bluebacks are like long as can get them little thread fins, but you got like the yearling bait, you know, like the bait fish. Would I put them on an A rig? Probably not. Probably not. Little little too small for that. Pressured lakes, matching a hatch, tough days. You know, high high pressure. You know, barometer pressure, whatever they're talking. You know, like the new moons and whatever the philosophy is with, you know, the farmer's almanac, you know, throw that little dude, you'll get bit. If you in a panic and you fish in a tournament and you ain't catching no fish, throw that little guy, you'll get your limit. You might not have, but you know, you might have four fish that weigh seven pounds, but you'll have a kicker. Believe that. And you can drop shot it too. Bo Painter, a buddy of mine, we was fishing Bugs Island, was fishing a tournament, team tournament. Um, and he started throwing that on a drop shot, and I ain't never seen nobody drop shot a Kitek, and he was catching them. Like, he helped our weight. He was catching good ones on it, actually. So that was like, you know, the three-inch, you know, just like this. I got it right here, actually. Like, this, this, this is, this is, that's the... Zoom in. Focus. Boy, focus on that. So you can see that bait. Like that's it's really tiny. And this this head, you know, like I said, this eighth ounce um VMC half moon head, whatever it's called, this is what I tight line with. But that's just such a small bait. It's like, dude, you ain't gonna get bit on that. Catch bluegill with it. You will, you'll catch bluegill, crappy, but you'll catch bass. You'll catch bass. So this other bait um, that I was throwing, this is the, we're just going to walk it up. Like this is the four-inch Kitek, and I've got this on a, a, a Scottsboro Tackle jig head. And uh, I forget what, what size this is, but it might be a three-eighths is what that is. You can slow them down. And I couldn't, I couldn't, it's kind of hold, it's kind of hard to hold a camera and slow roll these baits. You know what I'm saying? To get like the really, like you can throw them on a light jig head and slow roll them and that tail will still kick. Like it'll kick good. So this, like this one right here is what I had on the A-Rig when I went out on my last video that I posted. That's what I had. That was four of my baits. And then the other one was this five inch right here, that five inch hitter right there. And I got some underwater footage of this too. Let, let me show you the, uh, let me show you the A-Rig bait or yeah, let me show you the A-Rig. Um, I got some underwater footage of that too, just cause I like getting underwater footage. It gets me crazy. Oh, check this out. That's what them fish see coming up behind that A-Rig. You know, they might see it go across the top of them or go in front of them and then they follow it. And then they see that, what you just seen. That's what they see before they gobble them up. So here is the monstrosity of that A-Rig that I was throwing. And I had eighth ounce heads on this. And the reason I have eighth ounce heads, these are like uh, jig heads that I poured myself. The reason I had eighth ounce is because I want it to get deep quick. The cool thing about it is when you're in 20, 25 foot of water and you're slow rolling it, like it goes slow and those things still kick him right there. And this is the gee crack uh, stealth right there. You can get it on Tackle Warehouse. Everything I'm showing you right now, you can get on Tackle Warehouse. If you're local, SML Tackle Shack has a killer selection of Kitek, Easy Shiners, Fat Impacts, all that stuff. Here is the 5-inch there. And the thing, like, I don't know... I don't know, like the the single on this doesn't 
get me going like the like the other ones do. I think the like the three inch and the four inch has way more action than the five inch. But you know, I was on the side of a dock getting this underwater footage, so maybe I was walking too fast. Maybe you got to like slow it down a little bit. It's got a good hook in it. I like the jig head, but that little spinner just lays right up in there like that. That mug's working. He done got lazy. He done took his work boots off. All these Kitex are really good for freaking winter. Wintertime fishing. And you could probably fish them in the fall. Schooling fish. You can throw any of these. Like normally where you would throw a topwater, these fish coming up, busting shad, you could probably throw one of those on, you know, like an eighth ounce head to where it ain't going to seek real fast because they're up towards the top and just kind of reel it back and they'll probably smoke it. I haven't, I haven't tried it, but you could probably do that. Here's one that I can't wait. Excuse me real quick. Low carb diet. Here's one that I can't wait for spawn. No, I'm sorry. Let me back up. Pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn. And that's the 8-inch. That's a big old piece of plastic right there. It's got really good action. This is with a, uh, no, this is an 8-alt Gamagatsu belly-weighted swim bait hook. All right? And it and it's I think it's perfect for this weight. And I was kind of going back and forth with Skeet. Like, I texted him, and I'm like, I had like a 6-alt. Like a and I sent it to him, like, is this hook too small? And he's like, yep. I'm like, damn. And the only ones I had, I had like a 10 alt, then I had a 11 alt, no, a 12 alt, which were way too big. And then I found some of these 8 alts that were perfect. Perfect. So this dude right here, you can throw these like you would a mag draft beside floaters, you know, parallel and riprap banks, um, you know, points. You know, sitting in about 15 foot of water, throw them shallow, bring them back to you because some of those fish ain't coming all the way up to spawn yet. Some may have spawned and are moved out and they see that big old fat mac coming through there. Dude, that's a treat right there. The only thing, the only thing I don't like um, is the the belly weighted swim bait hook. Uh, the hookup ratio goes, I, I don't know. Like they're really going to have to eat it. So that's why, you know, I had posted something on Instagram um, last month or something like that, and I was looking for jig heads that would fit this 8-inch right here. You know, some, just a jig head that would go in there. Like, you could put, like, one of those stinger hooks on there, but those stinger hooks are so crazy. Like, they get, they get crazy when you start throwing them. And I like skipping these. So when you got a stinger hook and you start skipping, it gets wrapped around, like, it, it – kind of messes up you know the flow of it when you reeling it back and you see it's like in its head you know and you wonder why it didn't get bit but check this out this is the um this is the no nope, not that one not that one um damn i didn't load it up let me load it up real quick that's the eight inch uh kitech Any of these swim baits, dude, that's why I'm saying they're so freaking versatile from the three inch to the eight inch. They make a two inch, right? So you can do, I mean, dude, like pick your poison on them. Pick your poison. I was down at SML Tackle Shack today and I picked up them, them pinkins. Look at these. I ain't even opened them yet. And you know, like Kitex got that little shrimpy. That little shrimp smell. Ooh. Mm. Power bait ain't got nothing on that. Like cotton candy or something. I'm going to try it, dude. Because I you know, I get freaky with them colors. I'll try it. I don't care. I like their packaging. Like, their, you know, their, their tails seem to never, like, the ones I've had, their tails never kind of get bent, you know. Um, like, a lot of the other swim baits or, like, little swim baits out there, the tails are always Gucci. Like, they're good. But 
Yeah, that's just, you know, I, like I said, I thought I'd try something different here. thought I'd do like kind of like a hybrid podcast kind of deal where I'm showing some video and, you know, um, talking about, Ky, you know, talking about these Kytec swim baits, the easy shiners, kind of give you some insight on what they look like underwater and um, catching fish. Like you can go look back at the previous video with the A-Rig and I actually went out to do that video because – I was going to show you how bad I suck at throwing an A-Rig because I've never caught fish on an A-Rig until that day. And my life changed when I switched to these Kytex, not that big joker, but these are the ones, these are the sizes I had um, on my A-Rig. These were the four. I had four of these, and I had one of them as the middle one. That was a different color. Gaudiest thing you ever seen, but they – smoked it thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed the podcast and i'm going to be doing more of these like i said i'm not going to be like a podcaster but i think it's it's a, you know a little something different a little something different so um i've got some guests already lined up i'm going to knoxville next weekend to the um east tennessee fishing expo i'll be there um, probably uh, Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday. I don't know which one yet. So I've got a couple guests I'm going to uh, do some podcasts with. So I'm just going to kind of stagger them out between my other videos. And um, I'll be at the Bassmaster Classic. I've got a couple guests lined up for that. Hope to get a couple more because I'm going to be there for probably seven days at the Classic because I got to go practice. You know, I got to go through the practice. I ain't practicing, but I'll be with somebody that's practicing. And, um, and I, I think I'm rolling out on the, I don't know what day it is, but I think I'm there for like seven days. So thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Feedback is always welcome. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Until next time, I don't know how I'm going to throw my punch here. Big old mic. Catch you on the flip flop. First, first cast with the freaking Demikis. And I'm caught me in a big fish. I just switched baits. Like, I, I just switched soft plastics. Not the size I'm looking for, but you know what I'm saying? I caught one. I finally caught one on an A rig. Now, it's not a keeper, so shut your mouth, okay? I mean, dude, this A rig's bigger than the fish. Whatever. I'll take it. <laughs>